，大家好。嘿、hey. <笑>，我是空，我是从那边来的妈咪。接下来要说关于公米个血鱼，公米个猪的消费 ，right？ <笑> so I will talk in English. Sorry. Hello. This session is about citizen science and civic tech. This is the title is a cross between citizen science and civic tech. And this here is Dr. Nakajima from Tsukuba University, and I'm from Kofu, Japan. And if you have any difficulty understanding anything, please let us know, and we will share the information and materials on Global Note later. In this session, we will introduce the collaboration between citizen science and civic tech、uh, with case studies. We would like to discuss with you ways to incorporate researching findings and technology into the lives of citizens and community development to make it better.、Yep. And let me briefly introduce myself.、Uh, I am Mami from Kobe, Japan. I am the I am one of the people who got into civic tech after. Being impressed by Gov Zero Summit in 2018, and I'm working in Kofu, Japan, and I'm a PhD student researching brain functions and sleep in children with autism and ADHD. And、uh, I'm a board member of an NPO that works to eliminate children poverty and disparities. In the first half of the presentation, I will introduce case studies of collaboration between citizen science and civic tech. Citizen science is also recently referred to as advancing participatory sciences. Citizen science refers to the involvement involvement of ordinary citizens who are not. Professional scientists in scientific research. Sometimes researchers take the lead with the help of citizens in data collection and mapping, while other times scientists and citizens collaborate to conduct research and and produce results. NHK, the Japanese broadcaster, has a TV program about citizen science, and there is a citizen science center in Fukuoka University. Before talking about the collaboration with citizen science, I will share the issues that data on minorities, including Asians like us, Taiwanese and, Ta and Taiwanese and Chinese, and other Taiwanese and Japanese women, non-binary, and people who with disabilities, uh, disabilities, uh, handle in research field. Because because of the bias already present before the pre. R&D stage, there is a significant imbalance in the support and service options offered. Uh, racial racial bias in the face recognition system has become a social issue in recent year, recent years. Uh, several studies shows that racial bi bias, bias in facial recognition system has request, resulted unfair situation for people of certain races. For example, in 2020, an innocent black man was wrongly arrested in the U.S. because the facial recognition system incorrectly matched the face of a criminal. Data imbalances may. This 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 distort the AI and lead to lead it to the lead it to make our wrong choices. Okay. In recent years, the situation is gradually gradually improving with Stanford University and other addressing gendered innovation. Uh, the the 2018 Gap Zero Summit. Uh, the speaker mentioned that there is a little data of women on women in Wikipedia, and that the southern hemisphere ha hemisphere has a challenge in in that 
there is a lot of oral information that not that does not make it into the internet. We still need to work out how to reflect the diversity of the world on the internet and in our research data. I applied this session because I would like to with, work with the Taiwanese people and the, who, the people who joined this summit, which has the lowest gender inequality index in Asia to eliminate the imbalance in research and development in East Asia. At the same time, promote research and development that includes data on Asian people in the world. Here is the challenges we have actually taken on, on uh, citizen science and civic tech. I'll talk about examples of collaborations and the Code for Japan has been involved in and introduced the project that me, Dr. Nakajima and I are working on together. <laughs> this is the first project called Housework Sharing Concierge. When people who live together enter their household chore, assign uh, assignment and their like the, and dislike about them. The current division of household core chores is visualized, and at the same time, the pie chart shows suggestions for the ideal division of household chores. The application utilized an algorithm designed by the researcher who study equality and fair di distribution. It started with the hackathon called Civic Tech Challenge for Parenting, which was held for a special NHK program and was demonstrated in the program recording. The second project is Jibun Goto Planeto. Jibun means oneself, and Jibun Goto means one's own thing. This application to uh, this is an application to think the climate change as a personal problem. Answering about 10 simple questions about transportation, housing, food, goods, and services, and you will know the amount of your carbon footprint resulting from your lifestyle and decarbonization actions <laughs> that fit your style. With growing interest in the SDGs, the application is being used in the elementary school classes now. A data algorithm based on Japanese unique, unique scientific evidence were provided by the National Institution of Environmental Studies and developed with, in collaboration with Kofu Japan staff and community collaborators. It was used as a carbon neutral actions campaign with the World Cup Variable 2023 on broadcast, on TV broadcast, and many people used it. The last project we were working, we are working on is Gusuri. Gusuri is a Japanese expression indicating deep sleep. Uh, you can fill in the subjective indicators of sleep of the day and the length of the time that you proceed to be slept and submit the list when you speak with your doctor or counselor. This project began with discussion with Dr. Nakajima and other professors researching sleep and psycho psychotherapy at university and laboratory around Japan. We have been podcasting for a year, which is called Bakusui Radio, means radio for sleeping like sleeping in a bomb. This application was born out of a conversation between a doctor, a psychologist, and a person who have a sleep disorder who spoke as its radio presenter. This is there is there are the core member of project. <laughs> Sorry, and I will now turn it over to Dr. Nakajima. So please come. Yep.
Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shun Nakajima. Uh, I am a clinical psychologist and associate professor of University of Tsukuba in Japan. Uh, until uh, last year, uh, I worked at a top of research institute of psychiatry in Japan and called NCNP. Uh, my research uh, interests include sleep medicine, social implementation, and digital support for mental health. Uh, the video is a demonstration of the uh, therapist robot that provides sleep counseling. Uh, around that time, uh, I met Takesada Shensun uh, of Code for Japan and became interested in citizen science. Uh, I am currently uh, working at a research institute named Triple IS. Triple IS is uh, Japan's world class sleep research institute. Uh, this is due to the unusual high ratio of overseas research uh, for a Japanese organization as well as uh, human resource management that is uh, not limited by nationality, uh, age, or gender. Uh, such an open-minded environment has uh, led to a high level of success. A top 10 percentage uh, cited paper is an indicator or, or indicator of high-profile research, and we are proud of high uh, percentage. Uh, few uh, research costs are being spent on psychiatry worldwide, but uh, better care is not widespread. In the uh, medical field, even when research proven the effectiveness of an uh, intervention, only a few interventions are adapted in clinical practice. One of the problems that medical researchers often uh, only talk among themselves, uh, ignore others' opinions. It has been shown that when people from a diverse background work together on research, as in the PPI, it uh, leads to novel research uh, results. Uh, now then, uh, let's uh, move on the uh, topics of sleep. A uh, worldwide and uh, sleep study reported that uh, one in the three people have some kind of sleep problem. International survey, including Asian countries, have reported shorter sleep duration than in Western countries. Uh, it has been uh, noted that difference in sleep duration are uh, due to cultural difference, uh, not biological influence. Uh, for example, in Asia, uh, work hard is uh, considered a great value. Uh, as a re result, uh, they spend more time studying and working and uh, relatively uh, less time sleeping. So sleep management is an uh, important public health issue in Asia. Because of these issues, uh, we, we believe it is important to make people aware of information about sleep. Uh, so we launched the podcast as a volunteer group in Japan. The volunteers include researchers, citizens, engineers, and many others. At one point in this podcast, the topic of sleep recordings come up. The uh, sleep record from described on this slide is a global consensus sleep diary among researchers. However, uh, would you like to record this? Uh, patient with sleep problem feels the same way. The problem with keeping a sleep, sleep record on this paper is a continuation rate. In addition, data sharing is difficult because uh, records are on paper. Uh, you might think that if uh, keeping records is too much more over a problem, why not just use uh, our wearable devices? 
Uh, sleep measured by a wearable devices is uh, called uh, objective sleep. Objective sleep has been shown to be associated with uh, physical illness. On the other hand, sleep measured by a sleep diary is called uh, subjective sleep. Subjective sleep is more uh, strongly associated with uh, mental health problems than uh, objective sleep. Uh, therefore, uh, we considering the health, it is important to measure both subjective and objective sleep or for the uh, purpose. Uh, traditional sleep diaries have been uh, developed by researchers and medical professionals. Our sleep measurement uh, application named GUSSURI was developed by individuals with some background. Uh, this application is focused on um, uh, easy of recording. It is not a replacement for uh, wearable devices, uh, but it, the two are complementary. Please give it a try. And uh, here is a little introduction from me on, uh, on data handling. How to handle sleep record data in Good City. To safety development, de uh, to safety develop OSS related to personal health records. As much as possible, we try to retain personal data without obtaining information per, 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 per tenly in two individuals. So uh, it looks like personal information, but it's, it is not personal information. Recorded data is tied to the, the terminal ID, and the holder's own information is not obtained. Specialized in personal is, 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 is of use. Okay, so the user himself or herself can spit, 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 out, spit out the data in CSV. Records can be listed and reviewed. Users can share with physician, psychologist, or some other people at once decisions. Okay. When collecting and utilizing data with citizens, especially when the information is tied to individuals such as personal health data, we need to give them choices regarding where and how the data is stored. The current version of Gusuri is designed to allow the users to spit, spit, spit out the information in CSV and share it with doctors and cons counselors who want to share it. For example, it might be possible to create a system where users who do not want to share their data can store it locally and users who want to provide data as subjects can be told the diagnosis and how to deal with it instead of providing it. And we will little share about the contributors. Thanks for everyone who helped us in the Taiwan, Japan, Korea joint hackathon, which is called Facing the Ocean, held last held last year. We have some contributors from Gov0, Kofu, Korea, and other communities. And that's why we are also working on multilingual support in English, Taiwanese, and Korean. So thank you for the contributors. And the last slide is for Hainakajima Sensei. This is the end of the presentation, but sleep will continue until we die. Uh, we hope that good sleep will support you so that your sleeping life will be better in the future. Uh, finally, if you want to a sticker of the app's character, Bakchan, uh, please let us know. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a good, better sleep. Uh, just, uh, just remember, you just still have the slide uh, to have any question. If you have any comment to, to Nakjima or so, uh, Mami San, if you have any question, just ask the slide. I think this dress is so cute.
大家要维持良好的睡眠品质。然后呃，科博卓喷一直有很多这种很有趣的专案，然后也欢迎大家共享。何が気になり気になりますけなな,ならぜひえスライドで教えてください。あ、なお、ご質問ありますか？質問ありますか？質問ありますか？質問ありますか？質問ありますか？質問あ Not to provide your question not in anonymously, so actually you can raise your hands and to provide your questions. Oh, it's okay.、Um, I personally have some、um, question to Mami San. <laughs>、uh, for all this time, how and、uh, how how do you and your professor to conduct、uh, this program? Trying to launch this kind of CB technology also that really enter inside the campus and research program.、Um, what's the challenge you have experienced for this long time? For example, to develop the, the app also with Bakujan, Bakujan also、um, some of the research because it seems like around like a net 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 net. Um, you need to like have a lot of survey, not only into different kind of countries, continent like Asian、uh, sleeping hours, but also compared to some are like, like French. <laughs> It, it's a pity, like like Korean and Japanese.、Uh, normally, they have less sleep sleeping hour than other country. And also,、um, due to like Mummy San also talk about that house course、um, project.、Um, what motivate you to provide those kind of information to the public? Okay. The second question might be.、Uh, the first question is,、um, how do you,、um, how do you launch this kind of project to with CB technology technology、um, um, group like、um, Cover Japan, but also、um, University、um, to launch those kind of research, and how do you、um, come up with an idea, and what's the more challenging part for your research? Uh, I think. What is it? How do you make it?、Uh, he said that is one is that how to make it easier to input the data for the users、mm. and research. Can you say? Balance、uh, yeah, uh, research and、uh, social implementation、uh, is very difficult. And for me, about the motivation? Yes, for、so、the、like, house course.、Uh, uh, the, the application about the house course is not come from my idea, but just because I want to bring the scientists. Female scientists for the civic tech community, so that's why I ask her that your algorithm can be used for the for the application which suit which related to the house score. So I am also curious, what's the gender ratio between male and female, especially for the technology side? Technology side of the application? Yes, like gender issues. Um.、Uh, For that for that application, the some of the designers come the, the female designer come to the house score house score application, but most of the engineers are men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but I'm happy because so many so a lot of men wants to discuss about the house 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 helping so house housekeeping so so it's good for them. It's good for us to discuss about the gender gap by using the theme of housekeeping. Yeah. Is there any the most、um, difficult point in the project, like Good City? Don't know. I'm too cocky. 
because now I we use we make the application in iOS. I mean that the, the iPhones application, but it's difficult for us to decide web app or the smartphone application because when we use iOS application, we cannot include the people who use Android. But when we talk about the accessibility, it's easier for us to make it in iOS application. So, so because sleep is the problem of the older people, so that's why it's <laughs> difficult to to it's decide that target. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the difficult point. Oh. Yeah. Um, second question: How do you secure? Um, like budget, <laughs> human resources, like developers, engineers, designers, etc., etc. Maybe like um, gray writer to keep the sleeping app running, like the city. Uh, okay. About the budget, we got the budget for the first year from the from the foundation, but. In this year, we didn't decide and find the donation yet, so we have to find some donation or some budget from the companies or the, some research laboratory or something. But because we have the collaborator who uh, really wants to make this application, like the engineers who have the difficulties about the sleep or something, so that's why we think that we have to continue. So. We have to think more about the budget. How about the human like uh, so because we have the podcast for a year, so some of the physicians and the psychologists come from the community of Nakajima Sensei's community, and some engineers and designers come from our Call for Japan community. So we combine the community from the medical field and. <laughs> the community from the tech field, so. Um. I think that's quite good. Like, they also have this kind of collaboration, not only in the Daigakute, but also in Kofu Japan. Um, what do you think about the contributors' incentive? How do you motivate those contributors? Maybe, like, since then, you can just, like, you are <laughs> this color. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, because talking with Dr. Nakajima and some other physicians or the doctors or the researcher, we can learn about the sleep disorders directly from the researchers. So this can be one of the motivation for us because we want to know more about how to be health and how. <laughs> so, 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 so that's why it can be one of the motivation. And uh, yeah. And so many engineers have the problems about the sleep, so that's why talking with him is kind of learning and <laughs> some small consultation or something, I think. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and, yeah, this can be one incentive for them, but we have to make more budget and we have to give them back yeah, more. <laughs> what was the reason or the benefit of the collaborating with CV Tech? Like, it's the question for Nakajima san. Uh, previously, a uh, researcher is uh, only communicate with uh, only uh, researchers, so uh, I think uh, uh, citizens' uh, opinion is very important. Yeah. And, and because some physicians and researchers from Nakajima Sensei's community, they are really have the strong interest about how to, to learn about the technologies and the civic tech, so that's why maybe they can communicate with us. I think. <laughs> also, thank you, uh, Mami. Uh, now, uh, um, this is our last session in Art uh, One. Oh, there's another question. Do we still have time? Do we still have time? Um, do you see citizens given um, different tasks, and do you see citizens taking more active roles than contributing data, like someone who got insomnia or like sleep well? This should be the last question. Uh, 
So m maybe the first step is contributing by making data or gathering data is that easy for the citizens to get, uh, to collaborate with civic tech and citizen science. But but knowing more about the application or the project, maybe they can change the role of the collaboration. So maybe the first step is gathering data and that's the easy way to join. But when they have a lot of interest, I'm we are happy if they can be the collaborator or the contributor. I think. <laughs> okay. 好，呃，这个 session 结束了，接下来接下来，阿文、阿秋、阿三都会有不同的 uncan。